Hello, welcome to today's video. We're going to be soldering up some real-time motion control system version 2 boards today. So I got a stack of bare boards. Uh, first thing, oh, well, <laughs> we have to put all these parts on there eventually. And that's what we're going to do. But today we're going to do the um, QFN on the microcontroller. So we got a neat little trick to do to show everybody how I do that. Uh, so, start off with a regular old-fashioned bare board, and microcontroller here is the uh, DSPIC 33EP256MU806 industrial version, and we got, uh, I'm going to grab one of these guys out of here. And I ended up going with the QFN package for this design just because of space. I was trying to keep this thing in the same footprint as the old one. And uh, this, this it worked out pretty good. I mean, uh, QFNs are kind of difficult to solder, but they're not, they're not too bad once you get it centered. The hardest part is actually getting it centered. So, if you look on this board here, pin 1, there's a pin 1 marking right there, that little dot. And so there's a little dot on there, and so we got to rotate this around. So I guess like step one is making sure pin one is lined up with pin one. And what I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of solder here. The smallest solder I've got with the smallest tip I've got. And I'm going to put a little tiny dab of solder on this pin here. So I put just a tiny little ball. And what I'm going to do now is try to get this guy centered on there as close as possible. And use that one pin to tack it on. So if I do this right, I can get it lined up nice and square, which I'm, I can already see that I'm not. I need to go this way a little bit. So this is of course the hardest part. It doesn't look too bad, so if I can get this, I'm using my cell phone, I haven't bought a real video camera yet, but you can see I've tacked that on there, we're pretty symmetrically, um, get equal amount of, it's kind of hard to tell with the shadow, but get equal amount of pad showing on every side, right? So it looks pretty good. So the next step is uh, to do what we call drag soldering. And the way I do that is I've got some flux and I've mixed it with 50% uh, uh, so it's 50% flux, 50% alcohol. And I like to water it down because it doesn't splatter as much or sizzle. And um, so because we soldered the one side we want to put this on the opposite end here. And so I'm just going to give it a little... Now we just have that one pad holding it in so we definitely want to apply some pressure to the uh, microcontroller because we don't want it to accidentally move or anything when we do this. The next step is to take some solder and make a little solder bob blob here on the tip of your iron. All right? And now we're going to angle it up and we're going to hold on to the micro just with a little bit of pressure from fingernail and we're literally going to drag solder across all the pins. And if you do it right, you end up soldering all of the pins simultaneously. If this focuses, really focus. There you go. You can see all those pins are now soldered. There you go. I'm trying to move it to where it wants to focus. Uh, yeah, so we've got all those pins soldered, so you can tell the difference. That's soldered, and that side's unsoldered. Soldered? Unsoldered. Definitely shinier, right? Got little fillets on there. It's really hard to tell in the video, but trust me, it's, it's actually soldered. So, we're going to do the exact same thing to all four sides there. Uh, three remaining sides. Go ahead and do this top now. Get a little flux on there. 
I'm going to clean the iron really well so we can get a nice little ball on there. Got a nice solder ball. And we're going to do the same thing. We don't have to hold it now because that whole side is holding it, right? I eh, probably got a little too much solder on this one. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get this stupid phone to focus. Or not. Maybe it's just too close. Is that the problem? No, yeah, I can focus that close. Hey, look, ah, oh. It's something to do with green. It's almost like the board thinks it's like grass or something and says, oh, I must need to be in wide field view or something. Anyways, see, all soldered. We got two sides soldered. We got two sides to go except that one pin that's also already soldered. All right. So, we'll go ahead and do those next. So I'll do uh, this side. Same process. You just grab a little solder on there, come along, and just drag it across. Nope. See, you ran out of solder because they all got sucked into the uh, the resistor pads next to them. But, we're okay. See, I filled up the, the pads on the side there, but I got everybody soldered. That's all that matters. We can clean that up later. And then uh, we just got this one side left to do. So go ahead and clean this up, or not clean it up, but put some flux down. Do the same thing. Make me a little solder ball. And then we're just going to drag it across. And then whatever's left over we just you know clean off. And that's soldered. And to finish it off Try to keep this video short. Let's go in here and. Oh, where'd my solder bit go? There it is. Just give it a little bit there. And we'll go ahead and clean up those solder pads that got a little solder on them. Not too bad. And then finally, we don't want that, uh, that uh, flux to stay on there because it'll make a sticky residue, which nobody likes. And so clean it off with a bit of alcohol. And there we go. One soldered microcontroller. There you go. Thanks for watching.